Rwanda's report on France's role in the genocide against the Tutsi insists that the country was aware of the preparations for the genocide in Rwanda. International law scholar Dr. Etienne Ruvevana finds that this is an important detail when it comes to genocide prevention. France appears to have failed or deliberately refused to prevent the genocide against the Tutsi in Rwanda. So that has legal implications because in the Treaty on Genocide, in the first article, they say that every country has a responsibility to prevent genocide regardless of the distance between it and the other country in question. In addition to the seriousness of the findings of the legal experts who made this report, Jean-Claude Mutabazi Abayo, a lawyer, said that the fact that it was made by international and local lawyers and independents makes it even more significant. There has been a lot of in-depth research and a lot of people have been asked to be free to comment, which means that these independent lawmakers, including non-Rwandans, have done what I would call a very in-depth investigation, which makes this report neutral. Historians see that the Muse and the Duclair reports as a new point in the history of both countries and their people. And these reports are good tools to be used to show young people the true history of the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi. These reports are very significant to both sides. For instance, the French people were unclear about the facts as whatever their leaders did or not. But now, it's out in the open. The other thing is that, with the changing history, these reports shall be utilized by young Rwandans and those to come, and for the researchers to teach the true history of what really happened. Rwanda's Muse report on France's role in the genocide against the Tutsi was released on Monday, 12 days after Rwanda marked the 27th commemoration of the genocide against the Tutsi, while the Duclair report was released 11 days to the 27th commemoration of the genocide against the Tutsi.